uh, leading into the swim, how much time did you give yourself to, to train and prepare for it? I mean, the, the training is really, really mild training throughout the year. And then the, the real stuff starts from January. So I give myself a six month period. And this is mainly because um, the training gets so intense that you can't do it for so long. So a lot of swimming at night, lots of hours, six, seven, eight, 10, 12 hour sessions. So um, that can only go on for a certain period before you kind of start to break down mentally as well. And you have, there's a lot of sacrifices that come to it. If you're doing a 10 hour session, then you're not going to be very active to the rest of the day. So you really need to plan out your schedule well and uh, pre-plan everything. Oh, it sounds like, how did you actually structure your, your week? Did you look at it, say on a Sunday or on a weekend to go, right, this is where I can fit my training. This is where I can work, spend time with the, the family. How, how did it work for you? For me, I do uh, most of the pool training during the week, so from Monday to Thursday. And then on Friday and Saturday, I'd go in the sea, and it was a build-up from doing like two, three-hour swims one week. Then the week after will be one, four hours, then two by five, one by six, two by seven, one by eight, two by nine, one by ten. And then it finished up with uh, three 12-hour swims um, one consecutively. Wow. And, um, uh, and how did you... Um, how did you sort of manage your, your emotions and your energy during that that time? Because I mean, well, when I try, I trained for a, a twenty kilometer swim, which is nothing compared to one hundred and twenty five kilometers. And uh, like I remember being um, a pretty pretty tired, pretty exhausted a lot of the time, um, just with that kind of training. So um, for you, like, it, it, how did you, how did you manage that? Um, I, I really have a really nice, good recovery. Uh... It's for, I recover quickly, so I get to move in the space quite quickly. And um, it's not the first time that I'd have an eight-hour swim and then rest for a couple of hours and go and go and work because kind of I'm trying to balance both wells at the moment. Yeah, and so um, we're talking before the call. You've got a um, you've got a, a swimming uh, business, like learn to swim yeah. business. Yeah. Is that right? Learn to swim from six months up to adults fitness and some, some athletes, like I'm training somebody to swim around Gozo in a week's time. So that's pretty exciting. That's like our sister Island, which is 37 kilometers. And he doesn't come from much of a swimming background. So to get him to ready for this challenge um, was, was exciting. Oh, that's awesome. Is that the first person that you will have coached to do some, yeah, a longer swim like that? Uh, yeah, but I also call, I'm like I'm my own coach as well, so I prepare my own all my programs and all my stuff as well. Um, but yeah, giving it to someone else, it's the the first time. Yeah, that's really um, that's really cool. And I mean, the the experience that you could draw on uh, based on your your previous swims would um, would give him a lot of confidence going going into yeah. it. I imagine. Yeah, and, and it, um, let's talk. It's a good balance between the physical side and also the mental side because when you're in the swimming for so long then you have a lot of time to to dwell in your in your thoughts and you can start spiraling very quickly about how tired you are and how difficult this is and how um there's a, a period where it's going to be at night so it's really dark and you need to be ready to understand what you're getting yourself into and prepare yourself from from all angles